Welcome back everyone to another video where we talk about using the pocket option platform. Consider looking at the previous videos so you know what we're talking about up until now. I'm hearing from many that their trades are going very, very well and then all of a sudden they begin losing. My suggestion would be to slow down. I've done it myself. And what I mean by that is this. When I take a trade and I win and I might have a few pairs up or some stocks, here again, I try to reduce it down to about maybe two pairs and two stocks. That's just me. But when I win a trade and then I move on to the next pair, the next stock, and I see a setup, boom, and I automatically take it. Without even making sure I've got my confirmations from whatever indicators that I'm using and not looking at the bigger picture. So try to slow down. If you're doing good and you're going back to back to back, again, if that's up to you how you want to do your trading session, but if you win one and then you find another pair and said, okay, there's the setup, boom, I'm going to take that. Okay, there's the setup, I'm going to take that. It's too fast, in my opinion. You can do whatever you want, but oftentimes that's when the, a losing streak will happen, especially too if you're over trading. Look for uptrends and downtrends. This is probably one of the safest things that you can do. Whatever pair of stock that you're trying to make a trade on, just if you're going to go through them, look for uptrends and downtrends. Okay? You will see the setups that I mentioned in my ebook in an uptrend or a downtrend. Okay? But what you want to consider is when you're going through your stocks and your pairs, look for uptrends and downtrends. It just makes it so much easier. The market oftentimes is a little bit choppy. So when you can find a good downtrend to sneak in or get an entry in, then go for it. Same thing with an uptrend. Try to get in on the second candle as it's moving up or the third candle. I try to get in on the second candle as it's moving up or the second or third candle as it's moving down. Okay, still, again, analyzing the entire picture, making sure I have my confirmations. For today's strategy, we are going to be focusing on putting two indicators on the stochastic and the RSI. Okay. Now, as you can see, these are the settings for the RSI, which is 14, period 14 is what we're going to use. And make sure the styles are correct here for 70, 50, and 30, okay? And as we go over here to the stochastic oscillator, we are going to be using these settings. 14, three, and SMA. Many of you were asking that before. It's SMA. Okay. These are the styles we're using. I typically don't change these colors also too on the RSI. Just leave them as they are. But we want to make sure for the stochastic we have 80 and 20. Okay. We are going to put our expiration on one minute expiration time. We're going to be using S30, 30 second candles. Okay, you can see it right there. If you don't know how to turn the timer on and off, that's how you do it right here. Each one of these candles represents 30 seconds. And we are going to be on one minute expiration time. Now the strategy for this is very simple. We are looking for overbought and oversold conditions. For the stochastic, we are looking for it to be over the 80, which is an overbought situation. So therefore we are looking to take a sell. And when it is under the 20, we are looking to take a buy for an oversold position. When we look at the RSI, we want the RSI to be touching, 
like this is a good situation like right here. Touching that 70 and the stochastic needs to be over the 80. This is a great indication as you can see of how my cursor is lining up, how it's going down and we would be looking to take a sell. Okay. Each candle, two candles represents one minute. So, so for the RSI, when it's touching the 70, again, we're looking for the same overbought situation where we take a sell and when it's down here and it's touching the 30, as you can see, we're not in this particular example, but when it's touching the 30, it's oversold and we're looking to take a buy. Let's see how these trades play out. The first time I saw ya, you were not like the others. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you get my videos each and every day. Smash that like button, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one.